Hi guys, welcome to the Baby Moon vlog. I thought I'd pick you up right now because we are in the most gorgeous setting. Why are you giving me that face? Did you not know I was going to say hello on my vlog? A bit of water would be nice. Because <laughs> you don't slide off that cliff <laughs> Look how nice that looks. Look like you're in Mamma Mia, hun. Dun, dun. Oh, that's what we should put on. A bit of Mamma Mia. Yeah, we're in the most gorgeous setting, but I don't usually start vlogs in like the evening, but I wanted to show you this, and I just thought I'll pick up my vlog throughout this trip, just whenever I feel like it, and when nice little things are happening, so we can share them with you. But we've actually been here a couple of days now, and um, I look so pink because You've been here a couple of days, and you've not shown me what you're up to. <laughs> Miles had a few cocktails. How dare you? Miles drinking for two. <laughs> he keeps saying that to the barmen. I am today. <laughs> yeah, you are today. You yeah, haven't before. Right. Yeah, when you when we have to drive places, he doesn't. But I will be the designated driver on the way home if we go for dinners and he wants to drink. But tonight we're staying. We're actually staying in that hotel over there, the white one, which we stayed at before, which I definitely did quite a lot of vlogs around. It's called Barcello in Portanax in Ibiza absolutely beautiful and I just feel like I don't know there's something about this place that makes me feel so calm and just like peaceful it's the north of the island so we're not like near any of the party bits or anything because not much I can be doing with <laughs> with the bump if you ever come to Ibiza come here because it is absolutely stunning and yeah look at this Sorry, all you've seen is my face, but I've been going on about how gorgeous it looks and I haven't even shown you. <laughs> so the sun is just about to set, but we've been sat up here for a while, just chilling, watching it go down. We actually came up here loads when we came here last. Miles filming himself, what are you doing? A fake what? Baby clip. You and what baby? Baby girl's over here. You <laughs> like <laughs> I've been drinking mocktails. I do have a. There's nothing like exploration. <laughs> I've been. Um, oh, I don't know where it's gone, but I do have a virgin mojito up here. Do you know what? A good mocktail is a virgin mojito. A lot of them just taste like sugary juice, but something about mojito still works even without the rum. Although I am very much ri miss rissing, missing the. Um, a bit of rum in there too but it's only a few more weeks to go and then I'll be do you know what actually in my hypnobirthing book that I've been reading at the back they have like hospital bag necessities and one of the things she put in it which made me laugh was a mini bottle of Prosecco so and actually the birth partner is supposed to bring that so I've told Niall that he needs to bring that although I might opt for the Sauvignon Blanc from New Zealand <laughs> instead how long after giving birth is it acceptable to pop the yeah, we well. were we were talking earlier about you can't literally give birth literally and then pop once open it, the prosecco like once the baby pops out. Do you pop the champagne? Break good times, come on, baby girl goes, is grow. Oh, look how big she is now. Baby goes pop, bottle goes pop. <laughs> Maybe not straight after no. she comes out, but soon after. But yeah, she's grown so much over the past few weeks, hasn't she? Yeah. Might have to show you some of our um, Your belly button. So fascinating. My belly button looks so weird at the moment. There's like a little bit in the middle, which I can't work out if it's a mosquito bite <laughs> or if it's my belly button. Oh my God, do you know as well, which I've really realized since we've been here, is because I can't see. So when I look down at the moment, this is my view. And so I can't see when I need a shave of the bikini line. <laughs> And I was filming a TikTok in a bikini. Now I'm still going with this filming over there, pretending to be walking. <laughs> um, but yeah, when I was filming a, a TikTok, I watched it back and I was like, do I need to shave? Because usually you just like see it when you look down and you know like, okay, it's time to do a bit of shaving there. You know, when you're on holiday <laughs> particularly. Yeah, it was a bit hairy, but I can't see it. I can see it. <laughs> You didn't tell me, did you? I was walking around the pool with a hairy bikini line. But I'm not fussy. I know you're not fussy, but. <laughs> I'm not going to make you feel self 
<laughs> but you could be like, oh, just because you can't really see that area, well, just so you know, I think maybe just give it a little bit of a tidy up. <laughs> but yeah, I, d I didn't really um, take into account the fact that I can't see past the bump anymore and I'm not noticing the hairy bikini line. I thought it was quite funny. Yeah, let me know. Anyway, we are going to, where is our drinks? We're gonna finish our mojitos and then I think we're gonna head down to dinner just by our hotel. Should we leave our phones in the room? Yeah, maybe we should. We'll bring you guys, but we'll leave the phone so no socializing. We've been having lots of chats about becoming parents, haven't we? That's what you're supposed to do in a baby move. I'm reading a bloody hypnobirthing book. Well, I've, yeah, I've passed the book on to Nana because I finished it. We're going to do some guided relaxation tonight, aren't we? You said I was. I had a, a knack for it last night. You did, night. actually. Oh, God, after the cocktails, I don't know how it's going to go. I'll send myself to sleep. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> You'll be reading it. I'll be like, what happened? Super quick outfit change. I've just thrown on these black linen trousers, which I absolutely love, but because they go below the bump, literally, I am dragging them all over the floor. I wore them last night to dinner as well, and they have the remains on there of like chalky pebbles, um, but we shall deal. <laughs> And then I've just chucked on this shirt and this little boob tube and, and a lot of mosquito spray because do you know what? I feel like mosquitoes are just eating my hands to death. They just have a thing about my fingers. <laughs> so I've just thrown it on but it's gone right up my mouth. Mosquito spray is the worst thing, isn't it? Someone needs to invent a nice tasting mosquito spray so that when it's in the air and it goes up the mouth, it tastes like, I don't know, popcorn or something. <laughs> anyway. Let's go find Niall because he has gone to our table and let's have a nice chilled dinner. This is our dinner setting. Absolutely beautiful. <laughs> so pretty, isn't it? I can't believe it's not really dark yet though because the sun went down ages ago. It looks lighter in the camera than it does in real life. Yeah. Everybody knows this tastes different when you're abroad. I'm not usually a lemon drink gal. But it, it tastes so much better abroad. I wouldn't drink that in the UK. Would you guys? I'll be the judge of this. <laughs> I think you need some of that. <laughs> so you think that's nice? No? <laughs> Any comments? It's good, isn't it? It's good, guys, isn't it? What does it say? Back me up in the comments. But look, I like my own TikTok. But you do actually look like Baptiste from the Baptiste series. I don't like my mum. You look a bit guilty in there, don't you? That's why you No, I don't. I actually don't think I look good either. You just look funny though, your nose has gone downwards. <laughs> you look like your dad a bit too. Dinner is served, so I have gone for the prawn tacos. And Niall has the burger and chips. Looks yummy. <laughs> With our hot chocolates in hand. Oh, rubby, rubby. <laughs> oh my tummy, tummy. <laughs> <laughs> this bed is unbelievable. I was just saying to Niall that this hotel, the rooms in this hotel, I think are my absolute favourite rooms ever. They're just so comfy and like homely and I don't the know what it is. Really the bed is really good, isn't it? And very large, very squishy. I love a squishy bed, good pillow. It's the biggest bed I think we've ever been in. Yeah, so comfy. And then we've got this little balcony out here. Let me show you, it's a bit dark now, but I'll still give you a show. We've got a little balcony. Look at that. Gorgeous. Right guys, part of my hypnobirthing course slash book is to do guided deep relaxation. So your birth partner has to read you these guided relaxations so that 
they can also do it during birth in between surges surges not contractions they didn't like to use that word <laughs> um to just like bring you back if you're starting to get like panicky from the from where well, you're not supposed to say pain <laughs> I mean, everyone takes what they want from the hypnobirthing, but I do agree that I think that, you know, not associating parts with, with certain language might be helpful. So we're saying surges, not contractions. And we're saying, well, you can just go to panic from... We need to keep you in that green and amber zone, baby. Yeah, Niles has been reading his birth partner chapters because I told him that he needs to because it's a team effort. It takes two to tango and it takes two to give birth. Doesn't it? Yes. Yeah. So, it takes one person to set the ambiance. <laughs> yep, yeah, we need it nice and relaxing and dark. I didn't realise that loads of people give birth with dim lights. And like they can't, they can't deny you that in the hospital apparently, unless you're like Why would they? in surgery. Well, I don't know. I just, just I don't know. I didn't imagine that happened. Anyway, Birth. come on then, give me a bit of Birth. your gu guided, guided. <laughs> Sorry, the axes were. It was so funny. We were sat around the pool, and he was practicing the relaxation. No, we don't. We don't want that. Birthing well, playlist. No, we make our own. Okay. But for the practicing, I gotta get in the zone. We were practicing around the pool, and it was absolutely hilarious to the what? point that I was like, "Please, can I film you doing this what? so I can save it forever?" Oh. No <laughs> Niall is good at an accent, isn't he? No, I'm not. No. You actually. I'm really... actually not though. Just give us a couple before we go into the. The, the actual thing. I need to warm up <laughs> gently and easily. E easily. Allow your allow your eyes to close so that you can focus on my voice and begin. Allow. Allow. Allow your <laughs> Allow your breathing to slow down and deepen. <laughs> oh, it's gone Irish. As you inhale, <laughs> feel your lungs expand as they fill with air. And as you exhale, feel all the pressure and tension release <laughs> and flow out of your body. You speak so loud when you do Australia. Inhale. <laughs> exhale. Breathing. <laughs> <laughs> Just wait a bit. What was that one? Why are you waiting? So I'm like, so good. Bre breathing in <laughs> and breathing out. <laughs> the face with, changes. With each breath, you become more and more <laughs> relaxed, comfortable. Comfortable. <laughs> you feel comfortable. <laughs> you feel deeply relaxed. All the stress and tension leave your body. <laughs> A wave of relaxation and peace <laughs> flows down through you. <laughs> I'm quite finished. He reached for the camera and no, I'm not turning it off. You can't feel my touch. <laughs> On your hand and arm. Can you not? <laughs> Can you not? <laughs> Waiting for you if you had to leave I would wait a lifetime if you were at sea I just wanna say that I feel That our love is real Maybe we should hurry up and seal the deal We have just come back from breakfast, which was lovely, um, and Niall's just gone for a run. So I think what I'm actually going to do is go for 
a little leg session they've actually built like a little mini gym area outside which is so nice here when we came here two years ago they didn't have one so yeah i thought let's go down we'll do a little dumbbell session just get our bod moving i haven't really been moving my body the past kind of week or so when we were in mallorca on the shoot and then the start of when we came here i was still quite tired from the shoot so I just let my body rest but I did a little shoulder session yesterday and then it was really nice so I'll probably just do like 30 minutes but um I just thought why not Niall's out on his run let's go do a little leg day I've written out a few exercises I want to do which are pretty straightforward we're actually just finished the peachy program on beyond as well so the program that I was following was peachy on my app beyond which is like a very lower body focus program we're in a bit of an interim now before the summer challenge starts on beyond peachy summer which will be coming in the next few weeks so it's quite nice in a way to just be a little bit off schedule for a couple of weeks kind of deload and it was a very intense high volume plan so Think my body needs it although i usually like to stay on a program because the best way to stay focused i find is actually quite nice to just come up with something random to do for a workout so that's what i've done guys i'm so tired do you know what i was reading my book last night i went to bed so late and i like passed out after i finished filming with you and um i i really got into my book verity oh my gosh it is so creepy I was not expecting that. So many people have recommended this book. It's by the same author who does that book. It ends with us, which everybody's super into. And um, this one's supposed to be like more sort of thrillery. But it, I, I mean, I kind of knew that, but for, for some reason I didn't really expect it to be proper creepy. So I couldn't, I couldn't put it down. <laughs> and I actually got like halfway through the book. I was reading till like two in the morning. And then, and then I just felt really scared and Niall was passed out and I didn't want to wake him up because he struggles to sleep a bit sometimes so I was like, I'll leave him sleeping and um, I was like checking the doors were all locked and stuff because I just felt a bit on edge but yeah, I mean it is really good. I think it's just, I might try and read it more in the daytime when I'm not freaking out <laughs> in the dark by myself. Anyway, I'm going to pop on a gym set actually let me give you a little sneak peek of i think i'm gonna pop on a bluey a new bluey one let's go lavender <gasps> sneak peek i think i'm gonna chuck these on i didn't actually bring any gym wear except the new ones for the shoot because i obviously knew i was gonna have all these with me look at the lavender and the short now we've got a little matching bra I don't think I'm going to wear them. Yeah. I want to feel your arms around me. I need you more. I need you here. More than I would like to admit. Let's forget about tomorrow. Yeah. Should I hide away forever? Should I close my eyes and never again hold you tight? Call you mine. Think about you every time I remember that it's over Yeah You never break, you never lie You never ever scared of the dark So why am I the one who cries? I'm so afraid to be left behind I think about you a lot I don't know what to say almost like I, can't <laughs> I fell asleep <laughs> So quick last night. Oh, I was telling them. Those accents, which were, I was a bit, I wasn't like tipsy at that point, but I'd been drinking in the day and I was so <laughs> tired. You were like, after I turned the camera off, he was like, oh, I did it way better the other day. Yeah, I think I want to, I want another go. To be no, like, I they don't need any more accents. Anyway, we are just about, someone's going to come out that lift and see us vlogging. Um, we're just about to head to the pool. We're actually going to meet somebody that we get us. Get who we met the uh, two years ago. One second, I just want to show them the view because it does look so. No, don't go that way. No, wait, look at the sea. 
Look how last that looks. That's where we were last night on that rock. Um, I'm coming, I'm coming. Yeah, the, he was actually a barman here, wasn't he? And we got on really well with him. And we watched the Euros with him, didn't we? So we're gonna go meet him. Oh, lovely light in there. <laughs> Look how yellow we are. I need to hold my camera at nicer angles because I think my face looks like a, my face has got a lot of wrap. Someone's getting in. BRB. No, this is our floor, you. <laughs> Might be someone still outside. Yeah, there might be. Quite I need likely. to get over the vlogging fear. Come on, how many years have you been on the floor? Oh, no. no one's there. <laughs> I know, I don't think I'll ever get over the slight fear of vlogging in public. What was I saying? But yeah, my face has got a lot rounder in pregnancy. So I need to hold my camera more up here. But we're going to go meet him by the pool. Maybe go out to get some lunch. And I'm gonna read my creepy book in the sun. Get something that's not the chicken Caesar salad. Yeah, I've been eating chicken Caesar salads every day with chips for lunch, and it's lovely. That's one of my favourite things about this hotel is their chicken Caesar salad. Now look, We're officially a table. <laughs> Actually, look, this is what I was really looking forward to having a big bump for. I just need to balance some ice cream on there now. everybody we are currently on our way to a little beach no it's not a beach a little hotel club. well it's not really a club it's either a members club. it's not a members club we're going to the members club <laughs> no we're not we're I'm going to i'm a member at the members club soho beach house no soho soho what's it called soho no in oh, London, uh, there's that fancy one, isn't there? What's it called? Soho, Soho Farmhouse. House. Soho House. Soho House. Oh, what? You don't have a membership at Soho House? <laughs> you have to get accepted there. I Who think it's so you? savage. It's like that dating at Freya, which you only get accepted if you look good. Do you think that's so bad? I thought it's for famous people. Or if you're like a good looking human being. I think that's so bad. Anyway, actually, I just want to show you this view because it looks really pretty. We're just passing um, the little town that we are staying in Port Look how pretty it is. Oh, guys, baby girl is going Should to Should we go breakfast. get tatted? No, I point. can't get tatted um, when you're pregnant. I'll get tatted. No, I can't get tatted. Um, my, guys, my sleeve's kind of stalled. Anyway. Can I just say that um, people thought these were boobs in one of my pictures because it was upside down. Yeah, they are. <laughs> it's been passively now. That's what I said, yeah, I'm getting the dog for really and getting a nice pair of tits somewhere. <laughs> got my bum on your arm. <laughs> Baby girl is going to her first Harry concert in about two weeks. And I'm going to dress up all, all the shebang with the feather boa, the cowboy hat. Anyway, we are heading to a place called Atzaro Hotel, just for the day. <laughs> it's not a members club. I think it's like a botanical sanctuary vibe, chill spa type gardens. Sort of so, members club type thing. It's not a members <laughs> club. Also, OOTD, I have on a new bluey bikini. This is your favorite one, isn't it? Oh yeah. This is the black licorice strappy bando, so it turns into a bando as well. You can't really see because of my seatbelt, but it's got little tie bottoms as well. And I've got this really nice skirt on from Rattenboa, which is like all flowy and lovely. Oh. But anyway, <laughs> I'm so glad I'm not driving. Look at these roads. Take you there. You should not be allowed in places like this. <laughs> Close your legs. <laughs> Guys, this has got to be the most beautiful hotel I've ever seen in my life. Not bad, is it? Look at the vibes. Look at the lavender by there. I think they grow their own lemons around here. I'm pretty sure these are lemon trees. But how stunning is this? It's so like calm, isn't it? If you wanted something chill. Oh. Thank you. Such a good pool for doing lengths, I was saying tonight, because it's just one long line. <laughs> 
Might have a go, you know. I yeah. think swimming's supposed to be good when you're pregnant. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. Reminds me a bit of Pop. Oh. I love cats when you're on holiday. Hello. They're so cute. Take him home and give Biscuit a mate. <laughs> Biscuit would be fuming, wouldn't they? Cheers to be a mum and dad. Mum and dad. In seven weeks' time. Whoa. Can you believe that? In seven weeks. Well, you don't actually know exactly when she's coming, but seven weeks' time. Baby girl's due. It's cray cray. The first poo will be nine months worth of backed up waste. It's. Is that true? It's such a poo that even comes with its own name, the meconium. Oh yeah, the meconium. Because some babies um, do that like while tar, you're in labour. Yeah, it's like tar. And some babies do it while you're in labour and it's a bit dangerous so you, you can sometimes get like rushed to a C-section because of it. Yeah. Well, I look forward to that meconium. <laughs> <laughs> what is he doing? <laughs> Such a little freak. Guys, I just thought I'd bring you over to show you the spa area so they've got a little ice bath have you been in there yet oh here he goes <laughs> jacuzzi and then i think that's a little fire pit there guys it's so quiet though i don't want to like disturb everybody having their chill time but how gorgeous is this garden as well apparently all of the food they make here they use from their like vegetable garden over there like all the ingredients. Have some lunch now, so I'll show you what we get, but yeah, such a vibe. <laughs> Guys, can you see the frogs? Oh, look at that one staring at me. <laughs> lunch is served, so I've got myself a 0% gin and elderflower, which is an absolute fave. So good. And then we've got some alioli with some olives and some bread. And then these are special today, aren't they? They're the courgette flowers from the garden. Ricotta and parmesan stuff. Oof. And then we've, what's this one? This one looks Labne, really good. I think you call it. it looks it's quite like, Greek, doesn't it? I think it's like Lebanese or, yeah, Mediterranean. The tomato is really nice. Is it? Mm. Well, we're gonna have to steal some of yours there, Hansos. Boy, naughty little girl always thinking about your <laughs> belly, aren't you? <laughs> you could just eat foodie all day long, every day. That's exactly what you do, wouldn't you? <laughs> you naughty little girl. <laughs> You're so good. I'm not blue. Niall talks to me like I'm blue belt sometimes. Yeah, I know you like it though. I'm not a dog. Do you like it? <laughs> I just said <laughs> them. This is courgettes were insane. They had honey on them as well, didn't they? Honey oh. drizzle, ricotta, parmesan, courgette from the garden. Stun. Money, money. <laughs> I've lost them. My name's he my name's he Har my name's Harrison and I wear my cap backward. Backward. <laughs> that was American! I'm fucking lost. What is it? How's it cat? <laughs> Mother. <laughs> you try and get the accent. My name's ha my name's Harrison, and I wear my cap backwards. <laughs> Rate his Australian accent out of ten in the comments. It used to be good. <laughs> oh, he makes me laugh. Niall has been on top form funny mode this whole trip, and I love it. <laughs> anyway, hello guys. We are back from Atsaro. We had such a lovely day. It was so chill. It's just like, it just feels like you're in a little retreat there. Nice vibe if you just want to go somewhere and like switch off for the day. We actually have a massage. Hang on, I've forgotten something which I want to use. I'm, I'm going to get ready while I chat to you as well because, because we are going to try and catch the sunset. And we've just, Niall's actually gone to pick up the pizzas which we've ordered to pick up to take and watch the sunset with so i'm gonna bring you guys to that as well once i've just got ready a little bit i'm not gonna do too much we're not going to glam or anything tonight just super cash i'm just gonna do a bit of no makeup makeup just wanted a little catch up because i feel like 
I don't know. I haven't sat down just me and you much in this video and I thought this was a really nice time to do that and just have a little chin wag. <laughs> um, but I did actually get a really lovely massage as well at the end of while we were at, Z at Zaro so I'm feeling quite like woozy. <laughs> it was so nice but you know what? <laughs> Because I was reading my book, the thriller one, Verity. I've nearly finished it now. I've got about 20 pages left and I'm so on the edge of my seat wanting to finish it because I'm really hoping for like a good ending. And because I was just reading it before I went in, <laughs> I just felt at so many moments really weird of like she was gonna chop my head off or something. Or <laughs> no, because you're lying there naked with a masseuse and you're completely vulnerable and I was just thinking to myself technically this woman could murder me and nobody would really know because we were locked away in like this private room <laughs> and it was all that was going through my head at different points in the massage where I was like <laughs> but I think it was literally just because I was reading that book that I just had those weird thoughts anyway <laughs> other than that it was a lovely massage <laughs> I've been enjoying drawing my eyebrows in on this trip which I, I usually don't really do anything with them other than spike them up but do you know what as well I dyed these in a very re recent vlog where I was talking about getting ready for going away and already the sun has just made I mean in this light they don't look so bad but I was looking at them in the light in the car earlier and they looked like orange I swear the sun just makes my eyebrows go ginger <laughs> And it's already just bleached out all of the dye that I put on them, which is annoying. So I've been adding a little bit of the Refi little preci precision precision pencil. And um, it's been really good actually. Just I feel like it's the only brow pencil that actually doesn't kind of like blot your eyebrows. And I'm gonna actually use that to do some freckles in a minute. So we'll pop over there. <laughs> And I'm also going to use the Brow Sculpt by Refi just to stick them up a little bit. And then other than that, I think I'm just going to pop on a little bit of blush. I'm going to use the NARS Orgasm blush first, which is a really pinky blush. I'm kind of mixing and matching between the blushes at the moment, but this one is really easy to apply. And I just, I'm in one of those CBA moods, lovely. And then I'm just going to pop some freckles on and this precision pencil is so good for it. I think that's all I'm gonna do. I might put a little bit of gloss on as well if I wanna snazz myself up. And I also wanted to show you this product which I bought from Superdrug before we came, which is this Shimmery After Sun. How good is that? Literally, there is nothing better than having a bit of a shimmer in the sun when you're on holiday. I always wear like a, some kind of shimmer, but this one also is after sun at the same time. It's actually that moisture as well, but I've always used the sun cream version of this, but I've never seen the after sun. I feel like maybe it's new, but yeah, I just wanted to show you that because if you're going on holiday and you want like that sort of sparkly glimmer to your skin, particularly like in the evenings is nice, on your collarbone and stuff. I mean, I put it everywhere, but on your collarbone, it looks really nice. Try that. I found it in Superdrug. And it smells gorgeous as well. Guys, look at this view. Absolutely stunning. stunning. Isn't that stunning? I think the sun may go in a, in a sec though. <laughs> We, we have just caught it. Just about. Just about. Just about. Make Get the spring. pizza out. Oh, look at that. To finish the baby moon vlog. Look at that gorgeous, gorgeous setting. Pizza in hand. Ooh. Can you fit? That smells nice. I'm not sure I can have the ham, so I might have to take it off. <laughs> but I picked it. <laughs> Got a little margarita and then a crudo which looks like margarita with a bit of ham and rocket on top. So basically margarita with rocket for me. Niall <laughs> was just saying if we weren't married, he would propose to me right now. If I wasn't already married to you right now. That couple over there, there's a couple sat over there watching the sunset as well. And I was saying to Niall, I wish right now we could witness a proposal. 
Come on, I, mate. <laughs> I feel like he would have done it by now because the sun's nearly gone. Deep breathe. Should we have a quick last sea brief moment? Right. Do you know what I was thinking when I was having my massage? What? When you were younger, did you ever think, I wonder who the person that I have babies with will be? Did you ever think that? Probably not as much as you, but I'm sure it crossed my mind did it? once or twice. Because I used to always think, who am I going to marry? You saw me at that pub 10 years ago. Did you think that you were going to have a baby with me 10 years later? No. I don't think that's crazy. Mm. First night of Freshers Week, I was walking out the door and I turned around and Niall turned around back at me and gave me a little cheeky smile. It's literally coming up for 10 years, isn't it? Yeah. Since In that September. night. September. 10 years. I remember seeing you so vividly, but I didn't fancy you till night three. <laughs> I'm no, really I'm, glad that you're going to be the, the dad to away. our little bub. Mm. You're going to be the dad to, to our bub. I couldn't imagine a better, a better mother. Everybody's going to be um, throwing up <laughs> while they're watching this. No, in all, ser in all seriousness, mm. I am really glad that I'm going into Ooh. parenthood with you. Yeah, me too. I feel really lucky to be going in with you because it makes me feel, even through the hardships and the difficult times, I can do it. Yeah. Because I've got you. And I'm really, really lucky that we've got that because some people do it by themselves. Yeah, it's, it breaks my heart to think of you doing all this by yourself. I know, but there's lots of, lots of women that do. If you're scared, I want to be there for you. You've had your moments as well. And, you know, I just want to be there to support you. and I'll, Looking forward to doing this thing together. And when little baby. A little person who's half baby. me and half you is nearly gonna be. <laughs> I'm looking forward to seeing her, her face so much. I can't wait now. I am so intrigued to see what she's gonna look like. Yeah. Even my lash tech was like, I'm so intrigued to see what your baby's gonna look like. Cause you're so dark and I'm so fair. She's gonna look like me. She probably will look like you. <laughs> she pro I won't, probably won't even look like her mum. <laughs> A lot of people think we're gonna call her something to do with water, but we're actually not. <laughs> She's gonna be called Aperol. Imagine <laughs> Mojito. <laughs> Mojito Kirkland. Oh, if we get a dog, another dog one day, you gotta call it Mojito. Oh, Biscuit would have suited Mojito if we changed his name. <laughs> yeah, I got enough Biscuit. He's gonna be thinking, why are they saying Mojito? That's not my name, my name's Biscuit. <laughs> he knows his name really well as well. That's such a good name. Anyway, I'm going to call it Moji. Oh, that's so, so sure. cute. Moji. Mojito. Mohi. Moe. Moe. Moe, I guess. Moe is what I guess. guess anyway, we're going to love you and leave you. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys are all okay. And I will hopefully see you in my next video very, very soon. And go check out the good bike. Oh, don't like right at the end. <laughs>